Hungry Years Red Cow Restaurant. It's become such a big part of the Fulton, St. Paul, and North Loop neighborhoods in the Twin Cities. And soon they're going to open a new location at the airport. Yeah. Joining us now is uh, Michael Giacomini, Red Cow's Finance and Marketing Director, and Chef Travis. Thanks for coming in, guys. Hi there. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, let's start with talking about the airport. Uh, there was a lot of competition for these slots. You guys are going to be with United Terminal 1, right? Yep, Terminal 1 Concourse C is where we're going to be mm -hmm. at. And we're also going to be there with the uh, Salty Tote Bakery, Holy Land, and it's going to go right in Concourse E. There's about 5 million passengers that come through there every wow. year. So we're excited to be right there and kind of get our brand in front of a bunch of people coming in, going out. I do love whenever I go to the airport and you get to see a local <clears throat> store or restaurant that's your favorite outside. And it's great when it's actually in the airport. Was that something you guys had always kind of thought? Maybe we can get it in Terminal 1 right by all these people? Yeah, exactly. Like we kind of thought we just put it right in front of people's faces mm -hmm. so when they come in, they know that we're a restaurant in Minneapolis and that we can be a destination for people to go to when they're passing through. Yeah, hopefully they come back, right? Let's talk about some of the food. Yeah. Are you doing the same stuff at the airport as yeah. you're doing at your uh, regular restaurants? Our, our plan is to do um, a lot of the same menu items. Um, today I brought a few to look at. We have our uh, our, our new Brooklyn burger, which... Ooh, uh, what's on there? Um, well, it has a secret ingredient, which is bone marrow. Um, and that's this fun little thing right here. It's, uh, it's like a bone marrow butter compound okay. that we make that we melt into the burger. Uh, it's our new red cow grind, which has brisket, chuck, short rib, and sirloin. Um, American cheese, and then uh, fried leeks. Oh, I was wondering what that was. I almost thought it was like an onion ring on the top. The fried leek, delicious. Yeah. Mm. Is it, uh, as, a, as a chef, when you're developing a menu for the airport, I mean, is it different? You need to get it, does stuff need to come out quicker? Or right, that's the idea. Is easy we have to, to do we have, to, we have to use our, our quicker cooking items and, and, and items that we can uh, um, still showcase our brand as well to sure. the, to the new, new customers that are coming through. Has, has it helped having you guys at the uh, at Target Field? I mean, some training and being in a not not one of your places, still executing it. Yeah, I think it has just because we've been able to execute it there and get yeah. good feedback from our guests at that stand oh, as sure. well. Not only just in our store, but at Target Field as well. Ali, so Ali like smelled the burgers. Oh right? yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. early. <laughs> it has been it's fun perfect. to watch your growth. I mean, starting with just one store, and I know there were grand plans at one point of uh, having red cows. All around the country. Yes, yeah. And that is still a possibility. Yeah, right? it's still in the works. We actually had an update last Friday, just a little tidbit that like the Denver thing might be moving a little bit, but we're still okay. happy with our three stores, making sure we're still treating all our guests right and they're getting the good food here. No, oh, they're fantastic, and we appreciate you bringing in burgers. And so the airport location not open just yet. No, it is not open yet. It's okay. it's due to open uh, quarter one of 2017. Okay. Construction's going to start fall winter of 2016. So Great. soon, but not yet. Soon, but not yet. Yeah. And then hiring. Do, does the airport run it? Is that how it works? Yeah, like you, the concessionaire out there runs it? Yeah, you know, it's actually a, a business based out of Detroit that is in multiple oh, okay. airports in sure. the United States. And they kind of reached out to us because they liked our brand, they liked our growth, and they kind of wanted to partner with so us. We work together. So they do all the hiring, but they train at all of our stores, and we sure. maintain quality and management and everything like that. Great. Thank yeah. you so much for coming in. and sharing some of your delicious food. That's right, they were going to cook on the roof, but you know. <laughs> we would have all those burgers would have blown away. It wasn't going to be pretty. Thank